The hungry hunting hawk alertly searches for signs of game not already claimed by the forest monsters. <coughs> Wildflowers bloom with the autumn weather. You pick a few of the flowers. You have come to a beautiful garden deep within the forest. A stream flows gently in a loop around the central island. Feelings of peace and harmony permeate the area. Someone has dug a large hole there, perhaps removing a bush or a small tree. It's an ornate oriental lantern. You discover 30 crowns hidden there. You accept it as a gift from Irana. You take a drink of the cool water. It tastes like wild strawberries. You have come to a beautiful... The stream is wider and slower at this point. It almost looks like a small pond. Pick a few of the beautiful flowers. A soft, magical aura permeates the entire garden. Strong magic emanates from the fruit tree and the center of the pool in the stream. The lanterns are also magical. magical fountain has sprung up from the water. At the top is a huge tulip, its flower tightly closed. Capture the scroll with your Fetch spell. As you read the scroll, knowledge of how to cast a protection spell enters your mind. Then the scroll vanishes. Protection is a sort of magical shield which will help guard you from physical attacks. Your magical lasso floats towards the tree and plucks a single ripe fruit from its branches.
the cute, innocent, well, maybe not exactly, little bunny has been viciously slaughtered and now looks like a roadkill. There is absolutely nothing in the little rabbit's fanny pack. Well, maybe a pocket watch, but you don't need one of those. Wyvern is a smaller cousin of the dragon. The good news is, wyverns don't breathe fire. The bad news is, their tails are said to contain a deadly death. Prior to coming to Mordavia, you'd hoped that wyverns were mythical. Now you're just hoping this one will myth you when it attacks. Wyvern has no place to carry treasure. This is one reason why dragon hunting is far more popular. After A vicious, slathering necrotor comes crashing through the woods after you. It doesn't look very friendly either. feel much better now. After some rest you feel better. After some rest you feel better. The nasty Necrotor has fallen to your onslaught. Unfortunately, this is a far from endangered species. Searching for the fallen beast you find nothing of value, unless you were planning to start a flea circus. Cute little bunny with big, sharp teeth hops through the woods. That's no way to catch a coney. Besides, those teeth look sharp.
The ground bears a rich carpet of fallen leaves. A heavy gate blocks the way to the winding road. Far in the distance, you can see a majestic castle. Welcome to Mordavia. It's nice to have some fresh blood around here. We so seldom see strangers. It is so difficult to get past the swamp which blocks the pass to and from the valley. We haven't had a stranger here since the rains created the swamp several years ago. You've obviously done quite a lot for one person. It will be interesting to see what you do around here. I am Boris Stelvich. I am the gatekeeper of Borgov Castle. Is it not true that he who guards the gates is the Keystone Speaker? This is the castle of the Boyars, the title of the rulers of Mordavia. It once belonged to the Borgov family for generations, but the last Borgov has been dead for many, many years. Mordavia is the name of this valley and of the town. Even the inn is called the Hotel Mordavia. The name means Dark Valley. The heads of the Borgov family were the boyars of Mordavia for ages. The last Borgov disappeared at the time of darkness. No one knows what became of him. It is bad luck to even speak of the time of darkness. Mordavia was a safe and lovely land before that time. Much has changed since then, and for the worse. Boyars are rather like barons of other lands. They own the castle and protect everyone within their domain. The heads of the Borgov family were the boyars of Mordavia for ages. The last Borgov disappeared at the time of darkness. No one knows what became of him. I'm not certain who all lives in the castle. I so seldom see anyone from there. There's the master, of course. And then there's the strange foreigner. There's also the master's daughter, I believe. And some rather strange guards. Beyond that, I really can't say. I haven't actually seen the daughter, but I know the master is quite proud of her. The master desires privacy, and I respect that wish. As I always say, <clears throat> the will of the master is the shell of the servant. <laughs> I wrote that. He is an unpleasant sort, with a short beard and moustache, and a funny hat. He is rude when giving orders, and he has the habit of staring at a person and licking his lips. Most unsavory. I have only caught glimpses of them occasionally, but I don't think they are quite human. No matter. If a man does a good job, then whether he is a man does not matter. The town of Mordavia is to the east of here. Turn to the east as you leave and continue until your way is blocked by rocks. Then 
turn north, and you will find the gates of the town. This is the gate to Borgov Castle. At night, this gate is guarded by huge necrotars, who make certain no one tries to enter without permission. Farewell, and may you find whatever you seek. Goodbye, young man. May the fireplace be warm and the drink cold at your journey's end. <laughs>